What's happening YouTube? Mass Villain back here with another how-to video. This one is going to be how to set up a now playing scrolling text in OBS using a program called Snip. Now what Snip does is create a text file which we can use to make a scrolling text line in OBS that automatically updates with the song playing on your preferred music player. Snip supports an ample amount of programs to choose from, so I'm sure you will find one that you already use. So first up, we're going to need to download Snip. I will be putting a link in the description below to make things easier to find. But if you like, you can Google Snip OBS, then click on this OBS forum link. Now inside this link is another link to a download page for Snip. From here, all we need to do is download the zip file containing the program. So now that that's downloaded, let's open the zip using any program you want. Usually I use 7-Zip, but you could also use WinRAR, and there's a couple other programs as well that you can use. So now that it's open, just click this button to move up a folder into where you downloaded it, and extract your zip folder to your desktop. So now that we have it on our desktop, let's make a shortcut to the program, just to make things a little easier. So just right click on the snip executable file and copy. Then just paste the shortcut on your desktop, and that's it. Next up, we'll need to set up OBS. So now that we have downloaded and installed Snip, we need to set up the now playing scrolling text box in OBS. To do this, we will be adding a text source in the sources box. Just right click on the sources box, then go to add, and then text. Now the easiest thing to name it would be now playing. So just type that in and hit OK. At this point, we will be adding a custom text file that SNP produces for you. Just open the SNP file and start the program. As soon as it starts, you will see a text file appear in that folder. This is the file we will be using in OBS. So now go back to the text source options and click here on the Use Text From File button. Now hit Browse and find the text file that you just made in the SNP folder. Once you have found it, just hit Open and then OK at the bottom. Now if I open my music player and press play on a song, you will see in the top left corner of the screen the artist name and track name appears. So now what we need to do is put it down on our screen where and how we want. So I added this fancy little yellow box at the bottom of my screen that we're going to work our text into. So to get our now playing text down into this box, it's quite simple. You just hit edit scene, grab the box up at the top corner and drag it down inside the yellow box. Now as you can see it's not moving, it doesn't quite fill up the box and it's a little too big. So we're going to have to make some changes. So I just double click on the now playing which brings up the options and then adjust the font size to make sure that it fits inside the box and you have a little bit of space and stuff like that. Then you can also change the font to whatever you like. I like to use this 321 impact. I think it looks fairly decent. And let's change the color of the text up. You can do that. You can make it look however you like pretty much. I'm going to go with yellow as well. Now to make it pop a little bit, I'll put an outline on the letters. It just kind of gives it a nice little outline and makes the letters stand out a little more. And then now you're going to want to make it scroll so that the words move across the screen. I find that scroll speed around 30 is fairly good. It doesn't go too fast that you can't read it, but it also doesn't go so fast that you uh, are missing things. So now you'll notice that it doesn't quite stretch all the way across my box the way I want it to and the words are fairly squished together. So to fix this you want to use custom text extents. Just turn that on and then just press up on size and as you will see this green bar will appear and start to fill out your box. Just keep holding it until you get the desired size that you want. Now as you can see the words are scrolling across quite nicely there's space in between. You can see what's the title of the song and what's the title of the artist and everything looks pretty good. But and as you can see as well, 
that if I put on a song with a longer title, it doesn't quite fill up. It, doesn't, it still leaves quite a bit of room. It doesn't fill up the entire box. Even this one with a really long name still doesn't fill up the entire box. So hopefully this helps you guys out. You can fill it out. You put up your own now playing stuff. You can set up the stream the way you want it and give the people the information that you have. If this video helps you, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, throw a thumbs up down below, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys next time with some more how-to videos. Have yourselves a great day. And peace.